Hey guys, so I'm starting out with my skin and I'm using a bit of this Tarte Radiance Oil. So just massaging that all over my skin and then I'm going in with some Benefit Professional just to minimize my pores in my T-zone um, because they were looking pretty big and I wasn't having it. Then I'm using this little sample of the Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation and I applied way too much and it was really, really dark. Like super super orangey and dark so I had to bring it all the way down my neck and onto my chest but I made it work in the end then I'm going in with the Mecca Max uh, life proof concealer in the shade ivory and I did apply a fair bit of this because it's very lightweight and thin in consistency and I really wanted to lighten the foundation up so I didn't look so orange then I just went back in with my foundation brush and blended everything out and made sure the concealer and the foundation were seamless. Then I did a bit of cream contouring using the NYX Mineral Foundation Stick in Caramel. So I am blending that out using my favorite blending brush from Models Prefer. I love this brush for my cream contour. It is absolutely amazing. Then to set my concealer and basically my whole face, I'm using the NYX highlight and contour pro palette and I'm using the banana shade and I'm just pressing this all the way into my skin basically everywhere I applied my concealer then I'm going in with these two contour shades from the palette and I'm just contouring my face and setting my cream contour basically so I'm just using an fo5 brush from Sigma and then once again I went in with my foundation brush just to blend everything out And I did just go in with the contour underneath my jawbone just to make it a little bit more defined. Then for my blush, I'm going into this NARS palette. The blush is called Dolce Vita and I'm just applying that to my cheeks and blending it back towards my hairline. And then for highlight, I'm using the Urban Decay Afterglow Highlight in the shade Sin. I haven't used this in forever and I forgot how beautiful it is. So I'm using the Anastasia Illuminator brush to apply this to all the high points. Moving on to the eyes, I'm going in with the Morphe 35F palette and I'm taking this light peachy shade and I'm just buffing this all through the crease and underneath the lower lash line. The shades don't have names so I'm just going to do my best to describe what they are. Then I'm taking this more medium warm toned brown and I'm doing the same thing, just taking my E40 from Sigma and really buffing this quite messily. I made it a very blown out and smoky kind of look. So just doing the same thing and then I'm going into a deeper shade again. I'm just gradually working my way up. This is what I do in basically every video. I just work my way up from the lightest to the darkest shades and it just helps give you dimension and helps everything to blend and look pretty. Then I'm switching over to a MAC 217 and I'm taking that beautiful brick red brown and I'm just starting to build this up in the outer corner and then bring it into the crease and of course I'm buffing it all the way along my lower lash line as well. Then I'm taking the matte black from the palette and I'm just using the same 217 and I'm just applying a small amount of this to the outer corner. I didn't want the black to be the main focus, I wanted it to be more browns but I do like to have a little bit of a darker colour in that outer corner for a bit more definition. Then I just went in with my E40 and made sure everything was blended. And then I'm taking this beautiful rusty orange colour on my finger and I'm just packing this all over my eyelid. I like to use my finger for shades like this. These are super foiled and super gorgeous. You can use a brush but finger just packs more on. But I did use a little brush for my lower lash line. Then just going back in with my 217, I am blending out all of the edges. And then for my inner corner, I'm mixing these two foiled highlight shades, which are stunning. I'm applying that all up in there. 
Then I'm taking my Eye of Horus black eyeliner pencil and I'm popping this in my tight line, my waterline, and then I'm taking a thin line of that along the upper lash line just to help my false lashes kind of blend in. For mascara, I'm using this one from Tarte. I think it's called the Gifted Mascara. I actually had never used this and I just pulled it out of my collection and I actually love it. It is so good. So applied a coat of that to my upper and lower lashes. And then for falsies, I'm taking these lashes from Lux Boutique. They're in the style Courtney. And I popped those on and just squeezed them to my natural lashes. And then finally for lips, I'm using the Rimmel Lip Liner in the shade Natural. And then to fill them in, I'm going in with the Huda Beauty Liquid Lipstick in Sugar Mama, which is one of my favorite peachy nude shades ever. And the formula of those is phenomenal. So that completes the look. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in my next one.